hi welcome back in this video i'm going to do the refining thing so let's so let's refine the gun here so if i press 3 here you can see the bottom part is like it should be flat here and if you check the image you can see there's a kind of curve there and this design so let's do that so i'm going to add an edge loop here somewhere to the top of that arc and select this one this one delete this face and i'm also going to delete the bottom faces for now let's delete this i don't know why it's okay let's delete manually okay now i'm going to adjust these vertices these two corner vertices let's change this move tool manipulator to maybe component or object i think let's choose component now i think i need to do it one by one so let's something like this yeah so of course i can add one or two s loops maybe i should add one edge loop somewhere here maybe let's add one edge loop here and let's adjust this one like this make sure this arc is good then let's this is in my way let's hide it let's move it like this make sure it looks symmetrical here and oh i don't know how it come there let's go and adjust it i should use this okay now it looks okay so let's let's give it a thickness here i think the back this part is going up there so let's check it okay it should go let's go to world somewhere here let's adjust it okay so now i'm going to extrude this edge loop then let's extrude and let's give some thickness inside okay now i'm going to extrude again this time i'm going inside with this g axis let's go somewhere let's use this thickness maybe okay something like this and then let's extrude again and this time i'm going to use simply move tool because if I move the in that like thickness or Z axis, it can like in penetrate and come outside there. So let's do this and then I can just fill this whole thing. Let's go to fill hole tool. You can find that tool here inside mesh fill hole. Uh, in order to keep that safe, I need to add an edge loop here at least one edge loop let's press 3 like this and maybe one is loop somewhere here to keep this shape maybe one or two I think that's fine that's good maybe one here like this okay let's unhide that so press ctrl shift H or you can unhide from display so and so last hidden okay now let's do this part so you can see this this is going like straight there so it's not like this so we don't have this we don't have to keep this thing so let's delete it and we just need to extrude this whole thing here let's extrude and go with this axis inside there like this and I'm going to add some loops here to hold the save here. 
that one is the fear one here so wherever you want a corner just put two edge loops to that corner edge okay maybe here one is and at the bottom side i cannot put one edge loop here so let's try mesh tools insert edge loop i cannot put an edge loop here as you can see it's an insided face it's it's an insider face so i cannot put an edge loop so i can do one thing just select all these faces here extrude and offset a little bit so in this kind of situation where it's insided faces but you want a edge loop you can extrude and offset now you can see i have an edge loop going on there okay now i just need to put some edge loops uh, some more edge loops to hold these corners here you can see this uh, this thing so i'm going to add some edge loops here so let's try adding some loops here and this loop is going with the direction let's see and let's put one edge loop here uh, as you can see this loop is not properly offset to that edge here you can see the distance here the distance is like almost double of this distance so if you want to have a good smooth edge we can do one thing let's go to insert as loop tool option and choose equal distance instead of relative distance choose equal distance and when you are using this option make sure you are dragging very close to this edge so now you can see it's better than the before it's almost equal okay so let's go to select tool and let's you may need to adjust a little bit here and there like this area i just need to adjust a little bit so let's do the same thing here okay let's quickly check it by pressing three wow great so now you can see this is now uh, the shape is quite you know perfectly defined there so now you can see there's a problem i have two edge loops here the edge loop we just added here it like went there with the flow but i don't want a sharp edge here i think we don't have that edge there so we can do one thing we can just spread them here let's spread them a little bit better and adjust the shape there like this so that we don't get a very sharp edge here but we want here even we can just adjust the no, shape here maybe let's try now you can see it's gone now yeah then let's do the thing here you can see there is a you no know, diff uh, design there so let's extrude this area maybe i need to put one edge loop before i extrude let's put an edge loop here and now i'm going to extrude this thing okay so now i'm going to extrude it so let's extrude offset once to get a loop there and then i'm going to extrude inside so i think before i extrude I just need to straighten this line so let's go to component mode and make sure it's almost straight there and I may need to tweak this loop a bit so let's do the same thing here let's straighten this line a little bit okay I think it's better now now let's extrude again this time I'm going inside there something like this and i can as you can see there's a little bit tapper going on so again i can offset it a little bit to get that tapper this kind of tapering effect yeah now i can 
insert loops to make it you now to keep this as a surf here see this detail obviously i want to keep this loop so i just need to put one edge loop like this so that this corner should be hold there like this and there's a very sharp no sharp edge you can see here so let's add some edge loops here to sharp this line which is like going with this flow that's fine because i want a sharp line here as well and let's put one edge loop somewhere maybe here now let's press 3 i think i may need to add an edge loop this side as well let's put 3 edge loops i got a pinching kind of effect here so let's delete this edge loop try but still i'm getting that so but in order to fix that i need to put one edge loop somewhere here to hold this line so let's put one edge loop close to here now you can see it's better better defined there and again i can put one edge loop somewhere you can see i cannot drag it it's because you know I have set the insert as loop to equal so let's change it to reset sometimes with equal you cannot drag it uh, because it's try to keep some equal distance so let's put one is loop there now it's looking good well defined so in the next video we are going to define this um, this part of the gun and some you know, behind part here